Good, Good morning, morning, ESM. I'm Abby. And I'm Mr. Ribzak. Do you like snow days? Of course I like snow days, right? Snow days means there's no school. One cause of snow days can be lake effect snow. Lake effect snow is produced during cooler atmospheric conditions when a cold air mass moves across long expanses of warmer lake water. It can be caused by any lake as long as it is ice free. We'll get more into this after news. Sun Sunday, Senator Joe Manchin said that he will not vote for President Joe Biden's Build Back Better Act before he made his announcement. Manchin related his plans to the White House and Democratic leaders through a staff member less than an hour before his appearance on Fox News Sunday. Yesterday in Syracuse, a 25-year-old woman suffering a seizure drove through the front window of a Dunkin' Donuts. The driver hit several signs and a car at the intersection of Valesco Road and Onondaga Boulevard before hitting the building. No one was injured in the accident. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Avellino has approved the following days for Student Council Holiday Spirit Week. We are trying to promote this as much as possible on the news and afternoon announcements. Monday, festive holi holiday, hat, hat slash mask day. Tuesday, give, giving, bring in a canned food for the food drive and you can wear your PJs. Wednesday, ugly sweater day. Thursday, candy cane and colors day. Seniors, the yearbook is running senior spotlights again this year. We want to include all seniors this year. There are 10 categories to choose from. Some categories include, I am an athlete, I am a gamer, I am a scholar, I am an artist, and many others. To be included in the senior spotlight sections, go to esmyearbook.org and click the link. Use your school email to log into the Google form and pick your category. You were also sent a message in Parent Square with directions. The ESM food drive is still going on. Help if you can. Food items, cash, or online payment for donations are also appreciated. Also, don't forget tomorrow's PJ Day slash bringing canned food item day. What is the difference between snow and lake effect snow? There are two main differences between lake effect snowstorms and winter low pressure storms. Lake effect snow is not caused by low pressure systems. They're localized snow events with narrow bands that can shift as the wind direction changes. As a cold, dry air mass moves over the Great Lakes regions, the air picks up lots of moisture from the Great Lakes. Lake effect snow occurs when cold air, often originating from Canada, moves across the open waters of the Great Lakes. As the cold air passes over the unfrozen and relatively warm waters of the Great Lakes, warmth and moisture are transferred into the lowest portion of the atmosphere. Speaking of lake effect snow, let's see what's happening with weather. Today, uh, we will have a high of 39 with a low of 29 degrees, and it's going to be colder this week, but not much is going to be happening with rain or snow until overnight. It is overnight, however, uh, we'll get a little snow showers, and that'll progress into Tuesday morning. And not much snowfall is expected, so really low chance of getting a snow day on Tuesday. But Tuesday will be similar today with a high of 37 and a low of 23 degrees. It will officially be the first day of winter. Tuesday, we'll have some snow showers in the morning, but will otherwise be cloudy with some sun. sun Wednesday, sorry, we'll have a high of 40 with a low of 25 degrees, and Wednesday will be breezy with lots of snow showers after around 9 or 10 a.m. And with that, I'm Grayson with your Monday morning weather. Luckily for people living near large lakes, lake effect snow generally slows down around February. That's when the lakes freeze over. 
making it impossible for the air to steal moisture away from the lake. Lake effect snow develops when cold, dry air, often originating again from Canada, flows across the relatively warmer waters of the Great Lakes. As the, as the cold air passes over the lakes, warmth and moisture from the water are picked up and transferred into the lowest portion of the Earth's atmosphere, receiving annually a bountiful 17 plus feet of snow from the big body of water known as Lake Superior. Due to its immense constant snowfall, Big Powder Horn, located in Bismar, Michigan, is constantly ranked as one of the top ski resorts in the Midwest annually. Let's go to sports. The Detroit Lions beat the Arizona Cardinals 30 to 12. Arizona has lost back-to-back -back games for the first time this season. The New Orleans Saints beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 9 to nothing. It is the first time in 15 years that Tom Brady has been shut out. On Friday, the boys' basketball team once against PLSA Fowler, 60 to 49. Usman Kalkin led the team to victory, scoring 20 points, and AJ Graham also contributed to the team's success, scoring 13 points. The boys' track team beat 18 other teams at the Constantina Memorial Meet on Saturday and placed second overall. Winners for the Spartans were Rocky Allen, both the triple and long jump, and Mike Parks won the 55 hurdles. Additionally, Kevin Hasty played third in both shot put and weighted throw. Aiden O'Brien placed second in the thousand. Joseph Perdoso Garcia placed fourth in the thousand. Aiden Hurt placed third in the 300, and Luke Mancini placed fourth in the triple jump. The girls track team placed eighth at the Constantino Memorial Meet on Saturday. Kaylee Move placed third in the 55 hurdles and is now ranked first in the section. Ariana Brennan placed third in the long jump, and Rhiannon Bushko placed second in the high jump. The wrestling team lost all five of its team matches this weekend. Max Wunderlich, Ian Schroeder, Colin Weisler, Peyton Spencer, and Ryan Lindlow all won their individual matches. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, that's all we have for today. So from us and everyone else from Spartan News, have a marvelous Monday.